Well, hello again, everyone, and welcome back to Kovac Enterprises. Um, this is going to be our finale in the series of this American Chopper V-Twin custom build. Um, a few things before we take a look at the final product that I assembled is uh, we're going to look on the back of the instruction sheet here and just to kind of let you know after everything was glued and assembled and everything, uh, pretty much everything matched up with the uh, the back of the instructions when they were displaying all the trees where you saw all the dark portions which uh, was referencing to the optional parts that were left over and uh, everything was pretty much consistent with that with a couple of exceptions uh, one of them it being uh, if we can get a close look at this one right here this should be uh, tree number E um, it does show uh, this one particular uh, lower left corner uh, where it says number 8 on there uh, that did get used on I think step 21 uh, as part of the uh, license plate area so we did use that part so that was a little bit of an inconsistency on that part there uh, but everything else pretty much matched up as far as the uh, shaded areas uh, the other exception is uh, we did have a part that's not on this uh, you know uh, in back of the instructions is this extra seat so uh, that's actually another part that was thrown into the box uh, that wasn't part of the assembly itself. So I have an extra motorcycle, uh, kind of a two-up seat. So there's that one there. And then uh, they actually threw in an extra clear part. Uh, it does say G on it. So actually it gave me two Gs. And uh, these are all the, I know it's kind of hard to see. I'll tell you what, let me uh, try it this way here. Kind of give you a quick little background here but uh, these are all the motorcycle parts clear parts that uh, was a extra that was thrown in the box so if I ever build another motorcycle I could use these for like uh, accessory and stuff like that so basically that was a bonus piece that was thrown in the box and of course the two things uh, with the uh, decals uh, there is a part for this uh, speedometer gauge um, that wasn't used and uh, this little decal right here so all the other decals on on our little sheet right here uh, was used so with that being said uh, let's go ahead and uh, our next step will be to uh, see the final product so stand by we'll be right back Okay, and here we are, as promised, uh, the uh, final results of our build for the American Chopper V-Twin custom bike. So, uh, basically, uh, what, what we had to finish up was the steps 18 through 21 in our instruction book. And, uh, like I said, this is the uh, final result. Uh, so we'll kind of do a quick little turnaround. All the tubing is now glued into place, and uh, it was a fun build. Uh, I really this is my first motorcycle build uh, that I did, and uh, everything went uh, pretty smoothly. All the parts fit quite well, and uh, so we'll just kind of do a quick little turn here, as you can see all aspects. Of the bike. There you go. Okay. So one of the things I did, uh, especially when I was putting the tubing uh, placement back together again, I can bring this in a little bit closer if I can. Uh, what I did was uh, we already had. Uh, one of these tubings come up I believe to the uh, actual handle part 
itself but this is like I believe tube number F in the instructions and that was supposed to be going to the gas tank itself right there so what I ended up doing was uh, actually I took a piece of some Tamiya tape and uh, I actually wrapped the two tubings together and attached it to the one side of the fork and then uh, since the Tamiya tape was yellow I went ahead and used some flat black paint uh, and kind of painted that up there to kind of make it look like it was fashioned in place on the fork. So that was one little modification I did right there. Um, as far as the seat itself, it's only got like one little hole to attach the frame and the frame parts just got like a little nub on it. Uh, the rest of the seat itself is pretty much freestanding so I just make sure I use some uh, uh, CA glue to kind of hold it and center it in place um, so there's like only one contact point on the seat itself uh, so that was done I did the same thing here for the uh, tail lights themselves and uh, come bring that a little bit. Let me bring the light down a little bit for you. Can kind of see what's going on with this. So once the uh, rear lights on either side was uh, put in place, as well as the uh, red tail light uh, with the actual decal for the American Chopper, that's that part number eight I was telling you about that showed that was an option, but uh, actually shows that it's being used in the uh, assembly process itself. But uh, like I said, these were initially clear parts for the tail lights and the uh, back rear brake light. And they asked for some clear uh, yellow and clear red. So what I ended up doing was actually going to my Tamiya uh, clear orange. It's the X26 and I actually just kind of hand brushed it onto the uh, tail lights. So uh, that was that. And then I went ahead and used my Tamiya Clear Red. This is the X-27. Again, just uh, brushing the, uh, you know, the uh, Tamiya onto the clear part itself. Uh, and then once it was dried, I went ahead and used my uh, Pledge Floor Polish to uh, seal everything in. So there is that. And of course, then. Uh, I believe it was part number 18 that's where we went ahead and, and installed the chrome mufflers as you see right there and uh, I lined them up as best I can with the uh, v-twin engines uh, best I could and they're pretty tight fit but uh, other than that that was okay and then we went ahead and uh, attached the uh, the brake pads and everything on there with the uh, front pegs on there so that was done and uh, yeah so there you go this is like I said our kind of final product here I did go back over and uh, used some of the uh, panel line accent black just to kind of get a little more uh, realism to you know around the, uh, the rims and the engine itself um, you know so it makes it a little bit more realistic so, uh, and then when I say again, once everything was done, I went ahead and uh, put some uh, future floor wax on the framework itself and kind of sealed everything up where I can to uh, show you what it looks like uh, for this completion here. So, there you go. This is our, again, our American Chopper V Twin custom and uh, completed. And uh, now I just need to find a place to put it. And one other note, this is a 112 scale, so I went ahead just for uh, anybody wants to know what the actual size of this is <coughs> from the rear to the front. Uh, it's measuring like 10 inches and from the ground to the top of the handlebars is about four and a half inches. So it's a pretty good sized model once it's uh, completed. So with that being said, I hope everybody has a good day and uh, 
Thank you for watching uh, this uh, short little series on building uh, this particular uh, motorcycle. And uh, with that being said, uh, this is Kovac Enterprises, and we are signing off.